We're going to get a heart for Darren Bell. Uh, Darren was referred to us back in the fall. Um, he's actually a patient who lives in Augusta and was referred to our program. So we met him in November, and at that time he had been living for the last couple of years pretty well, but had been experiencing more heart failure symptoms. Really got bad around September. You know, short of breath and swelling, a lot of uh, water collecting in my lungs and stuff. So he was referred to us for evaluation. And after going through a pretty uh, thorough evaluation with our team, the best uh, indication for him at that time was to go ahead and proceed to a, an LVAD, our left ventricular assist device. So they went ahead and implanted him in November um, and really were able to recover him back to a functional uh, living at that time. And he got better over time. Um, I was really worried about him, so um, constantly in and out of the hospital and, and sick all the time. So you know, the LVAD has really changed his life. So I wasn't able to really walk or really do anything, you know. But after the LVAD, things came up about like 80% better. You know, I could do everything that I was able to do before that I couldn't do. So I can. Mean, I recommend ever to somebody who needs a heart. You never know when a heart might become available. Uh, the, 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 the question really is, is when is the right heart going to be available and you really can't answer that question. Um, you know, we get calls uh, for various organs um, and we, we evaluate the organ, evaluate Darren and understand, you know, is this going to be a good match, a good long-term match. Um, so it could be any second really, honestly. Um, you know, the, the, his blood type is such that we're getting a lot of calls here recently, and that's good. So we're just waiting really for the right one to come along. What were we saying yesterday? Any day, any day, any day. Yeah. Here it is. Here's the day. All right. Good. She said, did I run out of heart for you? Mm -hmm. so, I, said, you I said, are you serious or are you just playing around? She said, she's serious. She told me to come on in. She said, don't rush me, but come in. We was excited, we was crying, we was laughing, we was kind of sad, you know, it's a, a mixture of emotions, so. It's a good day. We, um, we're waiting for this day. He's done everything that he needs to do to make sure that he gets to this day. We're prepared. We're prepared for what needs to happen today. The hospital, the doctors, and, um, you know, it's going to go off without a hitch. Darren is in the operating room. Um, asleep but not quite ready to be operated on um, but close within five or ten minutes of being actually ready to start the procedure so we're waiting on Dr. Dean to call let us know that the heart there is a good one um, that we can put in Darren and at, at that point we'll, we'll go. What do you have? Darren is hurt. coming but um, thankfully by the grace of God we are where we are now. It's really really stressful to think about having first of all a major surgery. There's oftentimes some guilt feelings. Uh, they realize that for them to get a heart someone has to die and that can be very very difficult for some patients to kind of wrap their head around and we have to kind of support them and, and let them know well this person was going to die anyway. This is just a way of them kind of continuing to live through you put his new heart in and his heart instantly worked um, and then it was just a matter of uh, kind of mopping up for him because he'd had three or two previous operations and there was lots of scarring and lots of bleeding but um, really went uh, as, as good as it could possibly go uh, and the results uh, kind of speak for themselves. I thought you know it was kind of unbelievable you know. So I didn't think it was going to happen this fast, but it did. So, it was just really real, you know. It was like a dream. So it was, it would have seemed like I was like, this is really happening, you know. So. so Darren is a you know quiet man, a few words. 
he, he really is a compassionate guy. He loves his children. He really is few words, but Darren talks a lot with his smile. And after his transplant, he didn't say anything but smile, and so I knew he was very thankful. He's very much interested in learning how to get well and how to move on. He's excited um, to go and um, be with his family again. He has three beautiful daughters, and he said he can't wait to be with them. A lot of people don't get it, you know. Not lucky enough. So I made it through. Well, heart transplants are special just because, you know, in general, people think that the heart is the soul of the body. There's a lot of mystical things that evolve around the heart and stories that evolve around heart transplants. And so I think it becomes a special thing. And there's nothing like it to, to there's no organ that actually beats or actually looks like it's working. You put a new heart in, put the patient's new blood in, and the heart spontaneously starts. Yeah, go through it and live it. It's wild.